In this video, we will create a half wave rectifier circuit, which will be a good example on electronic circuits. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. A half wave rectifier circuit is a circuit that allow only one half cycle of an AC voltage and current wave forms to pass while blocking the other half cycle. This circuit is considered as the simplest form of an AC to DC converter. This diode is responsible for passing the positive cycle and blocking the negative cycle. Back to Pratyas software, let's search for an AC voltage source. I will choose this V sign source. Let's search for a diode called 1N4007. I will choose this one. Double click on it. Now search for a resistor. This resistor considered as the load. So let's add this generic resistor. Double click on it. Then press OK. Fantastic. Draw the source. The diode. And the resistor. Let's rotate this resistor. Now let's connect our circuit in this simple way. Also don't forget to bring a ground and connect it to the negative terminal. From terminal mode, let's search for a ground, add it and connect it to the negative terminal. Let's center our camera and then zoom in. Now I will change the voltage source value to an amplitude of 220 volt and the frequency will be 50 hertz press ok let's now bring an oscilloscope connect channel a to the input voltage source and channel b to the output voltage let's now simulate our circuit turn off channel c and channel d also, let's change the scale of channel A and channel B. Change the offset to be equal to zero to both channel A and B. So we can compare the two waveforms. Now let's change the scale of horizontal axis. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, the yellow channel is the input AC voltage source and this blue color is the output voltage as you can see only the positive part of the circuit has passed to the load but the negative cycle is equal to zero this was because the diode the diode is blocking the negative value so this is a half wave rectifier stop now the circuit and let's upgrade our circuit by bringing on an isolating transformer. This isolating transformer has the same primary and secondary turns ratio. And we use it to isolate the input circuit of the output circuit. This is a type of circuit protection. So let's now search for a transformer. And choose this simple transformer double click on it then press ok delete now these wires and connect this transformer between the input and the output now this is our input source and the secondary of the transformer will be connected to the rest of our circuit 
be sure that the transformer has the same turns ratio from the primary and secondary ratios. Press OK. Let's now connect the input voltage source to channel A and then simulate the circuit. Magnificent. We can draw a graph for the output voltage wave form. We can go to the probe mode and choose voltage probe. Draw it here and connect it to the load. Now choose from graph mode an analog graph. Draw it here. Let's drag this probe and put it here on the analog graph. Now right click on the graph and choose simulate graph. Now as you can see the output voltage waveform is already here. Let's right click again, edit graph and change the scale of this graph by changing the stop time to 60 m or 60 millisecond press ok and fantastic we have our output wave form which is a half wave rectifier in the next video we will continue creating electronic circuits by creating the full wave rectifier circuit Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.